I am Paul Gilmartin. This is the Mental Illness Happy Hour, 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 Hour. A place for honesty about all the bullshit bouncing around in our skull, 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 skull. skull, 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 skull. Hey, tell me, what did it, what did it feel like when they were telling you these things? That that must have felt overwhelming, or was it free? It's both. First, you'd go, oh my god, like. For me, initially, it was like, oh God, I am really created. I've created a shit show. And then it's like, and then you go into the like shame and blame. Well, if I wouldn't have been abused as a kid, I'm mad at the abuse, you know, my life would be better. I'd be a millionaire by now or whatever. Go down that road. And it's like, no, you can fix this. Fix this, fix this, fix this, fix this, fix this, fix this. And you go, damn. And you know, from support groups, people come in like... <laughs> With some gnarly, gnarly stories. And then when you see how it helped, you go, oh, I'm not an idiot. I'm not, this isn't, it's too late. I'm too old to fix. And it, you see everything change. And, you know, the pandemic hit and, you know, 30% of my revenue was road dates. I got wiped out. Well, they're like, you know, and this, this networking group was like, you have these meetings with a man and a woman person at least in your business in similar field and they break stuff down for you and you, you you know you ask for help and they they ask you all these helpful support have you thought of this and that that networking group was really great because small business owners you know this you're small business we have to wear 15 hats mm-hmm. we're like we're when you're a one-man band you got to learn how to play every instrument and so Ask for help. I don't know how to do that. Um, spend the money. You know, here, here, here. Don't be scared to talk to a lawyer or an accountant. And don't act like you work for them. Right. They work for you. You know, I grew up in an alcoholic home, so there was a lot of chaos. So I was sort of addicted to chaos. And would find myself creating it. And I heard a great expression, you don't go home because it's safe, you go home because it's familiar. And I was like, oh. So when I started hearing these things and I was like, I initially was like, oh God, I'm overwhelmed and I feel, I feel like this is such a disaster. But then I would be like, Oh, but I can transform, 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 transform. Be gone. Be gone, demons. Be gone. Leave this studio!